everyone, and I'm Daniel, and welcome back to Project Craster. And in this episode, we'll be looking to see how our seeds have been getting on in our grow bags. And as usual, we're joined by the lovely Craster the Bear and Bella the Bee, and they're gonna show us how they've been getting on in their grow bags. Wow, your grow bags are looking fantastic. It must have been all that water and it's made them grow that quick. What's that, Craster? Ah, yeah. Craster says, because the plants are grown so well and we've got too many plants that we don't need, we have to start thinning them out to give the other ones space to grow. So Bella and Craster have already been thinning out their plants and I'm going to show you how to do it later on in my bag. So it's time for Craster and Bella to leave. They're going to go back and look after their grow bag and garden. Bye Craster. Bye Bella. See you again soon. And we're going to be going back to the greenhouse where I'm going to show you me thinning out my seeds in my grow bag. So this is my grow bag and I've been giving it a water every day, pulling out the weeds, and making sure the plants grow fine, and they've done a fair bit of growing. So it's time to start thinning out your plants. So thinning out just means when you've got too many growing together, when you sowed your seeds and you've got little clumps together, and I told you not to worry, it's time to remove some of the plants to give one plant enough space to grow into, its, into fruit and flower. So you're gonna take out every second one, and this radishes especially, to make gaps so that one of them can swell up into the veg. And you can do this two simple ways. You can try and pull it out, but you're going to have to be very, very delicate with it because you don't want to disturb the roots of the other two and it won't transplant well. So don't try and transplant it. So you can just give it a little pull and look, there we go, out. And other method, a really easy method as well, and it saves you from disturbing the roots, but you have to be very careful. And I'll have an adult supervision of your, the second one, you can take your pair of scissors and just snip it right at the top. So you can see the onions are sprouting really, really well, but I wouldn't do anything to them quite yet until they've formed up a bit more. I can see that I do have some that are a bit too close together, some doubles, just with when you're sowing it, that's what's gonna happen. But I would leave them for a couple more weeks until you get a lot more growth before you thin them out. But you'll just copy the same process for every single one. If you've got a double, always pick the strongest one. And if you've got one too close together, remove the middle ones to give that one space. But we'll leave them for another couple of weeks until they swell up and the carrots. The carrots are now the perfect size to start thinning them out. It's similar to radishes. If you've got a grouping like this, always take out the one in the middle and give space for the other two. But the difference with carrots is you're going to have to do this either early in the morning or late in the afternoon to stop the carrot fly from smelling the scent of the carrots. Now we're finished with the carrots, we're going to have a look at the peas. And we're not going to do anything quite yet because they aren't quite big enough. But if you have got them to about this size, you'll start to see this wispy line, and that's a tendril. And the tendrils are what you want to start going close to the bamboo and climbing up. But in a couple of weeks, or maybe in a week or so, when they grow maybe a couple more inches, and they've got a bit more height, and they seem to be moving away from the bamboo cane, you can tie a loop with string, with the excess string you have, very, very softly, not too tight to pull it against there to damage it, just softly to guide them up the bamboo so they start to climb. So now you've done that, that's as much as you can do for the grow bag just now. Obviously continue weeding and watering and keeping an eye on your plants for spacing. Obviously if they get too big and they're feeling like they're clumping in together, remove one of them so you can give the other one the opportunity to turn into fruit, uh, vegetables. And obviously the next thing you have to wait for is harvesting. I've just shown you how to thin and now a few weeks later on, there's been a lot of growth. Our peas are now climbing around the bamboo canes, our onions are fairly sprouted up, our carrots are forming leaves, but the first, like I said, we'd be ready is the radishes. And it's time to harvest them, because you, if you leave them too long, they'll go hard. You can tell that the radishes are ready to harvest because they're starting to form on top of the compost, and it'll be about the size of a 10 pence piece. So just soften the soil around it and the compost around it and gently pull it out. Shake off the compost, and there you've got a beautiful little radish. So I hope this has been able to help you out. And remember to stay in touch about how you're getting on with your pack. And until the next time, have a great day. So I hope this video has been really helpful on helping you out to grow your vegetables in your grow bags. And don't worry if you're not quite at the stage yet to be thinning out. It'll be a case of maybe a couple of weeks you can do this video. And remember, gardening's all about growing. So let's grow together and have some fun.